The oil and gas industry, there's a big focus on plugging abandoned wells. Texas has its own fund to do that, but over the last couple of years, the federal government is also pitching in money. But as Tyler Dupnik found out, there's some concern about where the cash is going, right, Tyler? Yeah, that's right, Crystal. There has been some concern over how the U.S. Department of the Interior was distributing grant money to states to plug abandoned wells or orphaned wells. The Railroad Commission of Texas recently had a resolution it offered approved to hold the federal government accountable with the amount of wells we have in our region. This resolution could be a benefit. The Permian Basin could benefit from those federal funds if they were made available without all of the worrisome strings that are currently attached to it by the Department of the Interior, as well as taking advantage of the, the fund that's set up through the state. Only about 3% of the wells in Texas are orphaned, and the state began plugging those types of wells back in 1983. With the federal government getting involved in 2021, this resolution aims to make them do what they're supposed to. We hope that the federal government understands the importance of this, this opportunity, that understands what the actual uh, declaration was in the legislation authorizing this fund to be created and distributed to people. The purpose behind plugging wells is to eliminate possible environmental issues with well integrity. So we want to make sure that we're taking care of our workspace. We're cleaning up after ourselves. We're making sure that the environment is put back into the, the best possible shape that it can be. So whether it's an orphan well or a well that's just not producing for an operator that plugs it themselves, we want to make sure that we genuinely are, are taking care of the landscape out there and making sure that we're, we're providing a, a, a future environment that other people want to be able to utilize and, and benefit from. The process really breaks down the well site and leaves the area clean. This is the well aspect right here, this little part down here that you see that is attached to the well bore that goes down into the earth. Once you remove this, once you pump the, the concrete and everything else that you might need to do to make sure that that well is plugged, even this part on the top will be removed. And then after that, you see all this dirt that's around this location. The operator will go back in and reclaim all that. Those in the oil and gas industry want to take care of the fields where we operate. And particularly out here in the Permian Basin, we live where we work. We want to make sure that we are being the best conservationists of the environment that we can be. That includes making sure that we are properly plugging and cleaning up oil field sites that are no longer in use. But if those wells could be useful in future production, we absolutely want to take advantage of that as well. Now, Robertson told me that some orphan wells can be restored if more production can be found in them. He also mentioned in our conversation that there are about 8,000 orphan wells in Texas, but that number actually fluctuates on a day-to-day -day basis. Crystal.